Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you an older physics book that I have here. It's called University Physics and it was written by Hudson and Nelson. And this is an older book and I'm going to open it up just so you can see that like the colors and stuff, it's just very bland. It's not like the modern books. So in this video we're going to take a look at the contents of this book so you can see exactly what it contains. And I, I do think it's a good resource for self-study. You can see here right away that you have answers to some of the problems. You see, that has an answer there. Let me zoom in so you can see. See the answers? Pretty cool, right? So some of them have answers, like the odd numbered problems. You see, they have, they have answers. And the answers are right there, so you don't even have to like go to the back of the book. I know when I'm looking at books and stuff, and I'm, if I'm doing problems from a book, I always have to have like a bookmark in the back or something. And it's not a big deal, but it's kind of nice to have the answers right here. And since it's physics, it's not like the answer is giving you some major insight into the solution. So it's not taking anything away from the problem solving process usually. So yeah, I do appreciate that about this book. So very, very good for self-study. Okay, let's take a look at the insight. So you've got these formulas here, which are very useful. And ideally, ideally you have all of these memorized. Um, this one is peculiar. That's not one you often see in calculus books, the product. But you could easily figure that out with, um, with an identity, right? So sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x, and you can use that to, uh, to come up with that. Nineteen eighty-two. Yeah, well, I gotta smell this. I gotta give it a whiff here. It's just—it's calling me. Ah, it smells amazing. <laughs> so you can use this for a two or three semester course uh, in physics. So here's the introduction. Kinematics. This is like physics one stuff. So this this will this will cover you for all your physics classes, at least at the core level. So like if you're gonna take physics and you're a math major or you're an engineer, this should be good, right? And even if you already have a physics book, I'm just going to keep going through the topics, you, um, you can benefit from something like this because you'll be able to get extra practice problems and you have answers. Dynamics of rotational motion for point mass. And dynamics of rigid bodies. Physics is tough. Physics is tough. Special relativity. Here we go. This is physics three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I took, I took three courses in physics. That's it. No more, though. Um, physics majors take way more than that, right? They'll take an entire course on, you know, electricity and magnetism. They'll take two semesters of electricity and magnetism, right? So they are uh, a lot more hardcore. Wow, a lot of stuff here. AC circuit theory, electromagnetic radiation, geometrical optics. Let's take a look at how the book reads so you can see. Yeah, it looks pretty much like most physics books. It's got, you know, explanations and stuff. It's just an older book. So it's lacking in all of the color and, you know, the pretty pictures and stuff. But the key point of this book, the really thing, the thing I really like is that the answers are, are right here. And that just makes it pretty good for self-study. Newton's second law. What's this? A block pulled along a frictionless plane. It's a free body diagram. I like the, the pictures of the people. They, they only had two colors when they made this book. You know, I guess, yeah, that's the, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But yeah, fun book. I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can find any copies. I think, I think there are copies of this one. I think this one's perhaps still in print today. I got to give it another whiff here. Just one more little smell. I'm sorry. It's calling me. Ah, oh, this, this smells amazing. Anyways, take care.